Hey you guys, what's up? It's Anushka Beret. In this word, I'm talking about um, the, the division, the competition and the jealousy in the body of Christ, okay? This is going to maybe come across quite fleshly because we're talking about fleshly matters here. But it's important to bring this up. The Lord has put this on my spirit because there is a great division in the body of Christ. I'm speaking there's a racial division. I'm speaking there's an age division. I'm speaking, you know, division on all levels. It says in Corinthians that should Christ be divided? You know, do we chop up the body and say, you know, it should be this way? I believe that people have soul tribes and people are drawn to others more than others. But there is this like racial divide and I'm going to talk about it because you know, we know in the body of Christ, people have different opinions. Some people believe the biblical Israelites are black people. Some people don't believe that. And um, this can cause tensions. This can cause strife unnecessarily. And this is where the enemy wants to enter in. He sees that as prime opportunity. Great. I can divide them because divided they fall, but united we stand. And the thing is, it's deeper than just our own works as well because we have one spirit we have one baptism so as a spiritual family you know we are connected on a on a level that is deeper than the soul you know we're connected in a way where we work in one accord even without us knowing sometimes okay because the holy spirit is moving right he does things in marvelous mysterious ways so we need to remember the god we serve and we need to remember that um we shouldn't let our skin color, we shouldn't let our age, we shouldn't let whatever it may be, it sounds crazy, right? We shouldn't let these things divide us and separate us. Um, because, you know, someone might have a word for you that um, comes through a vessel that doesn't look like what you expected. I know some people don't expect me to wear fake hair and makeup and come on here and claim to be a prophetess. You know, some people have told me, you're not allowed to do that. You know, you must wear a headscarf and you must conform to my idea of what a prophet looks like. Sorry, not going to conform to you. You know, uh, it says in the word of God, obey God and not man. So um, when it comes to the body of Christ, we need to be careful about uh, competitive spirits because they are out there. Uh, you're probably watching this because you've realised this as well. Or, you know, you would just like to know uh, the warning that the Lord has because... This competitive jealousy spirit, we need to leave it at the door. We need to leave our egos at the door. We need to leave the pride at the door and remember what we're working for, who we're working for. It says, work as unto the Lord, not as unto man. And remember that you have a portion, you have a blessing, you have a gift, you have a calling from God. It doesn't come from man, you know men will let you let you down you know they're always going to fail you myself included we're always going to fail each other in some form or fashion god will never fail you and um let him validate you don't let you know the people surrounding you maybe even your supporters or um you know fellow believers don't let them define you or validate you we all have the holy spirit so we all have the spirit of truth in us you can't fool the body of christ okay you'd be a fool to think you can fool the body of Christ because there's always one of us who will have the discernment needed, you know. Um, um, we're all serving a purpose, each member, um, each member, each uh, part of the body serves a purpose, right? The arm serves a purpose, the nervous system serves a purpose. So let people serve their purpose and you know, don't cause a stumbling block to your brother, you know, some of you watching this, you have been, the spirit showing me, you have been on the walk for a long time, and this is a great reminder for you, because um, it's quite easy to get caught up in, you know, online ministry, and, you know, here's a word from the Lord, and um, you're gonna go to nations, and, you know, all of this, and it's like, we have to be able to be happy for one another as well, um, you know, you don't have to be their biggest cheerleader, but, you know, God is watching all of our hearts, all of our hearts, okay, so I'm going to conclude this word here, okay, and um, I hope it's blessed you in some kind of way, uh, it's kind of different from my usual words, but yeah, that's all I have to say, thank you once again, and I'll see you soon, bye.